Hey guys, I have a question for you guys. Are you guys half empty glass or half full glass people? Half glass full, half glass empty, however you say it. Hey, which one is the one where you show more optimism? Which one is the more pessimistic side of things? Because if you're a half glass full kind of guy, you're like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not Washington Armada. And if you're a half glass empty kind of person, which is almost everybody on the internet, then you're like, this team name sucks. It was announced that the Washington football team would become the Washington Commanders earlier this morning. After a lengthy process of two years, after multiple leaks, after leaks, after leaks, we have now landed on the Washington football team. Let me go ahead and uh, show you guys a few things here. Uh, Let's look at the new uniforms first off. Okay, you know, it's... It's fresh. It's fresh. I. It's clean. It's clean. I. I, I like the the simplicity of it. Um, I like the stitching. I don't know how much I can zoom in here, but uh, let me see if I can. Uh, we got Terry McLaurin right here, and then uh, yeah, you you can just feel the uh the numbers right here, the material that it's made out of, and uh, okay, like. All right. Hey, hey, before I get more into it, I just want to go ahead and say thank goodness it's not the Washington. Armada. Oh my goodness. The fact that that was actually an option and the fact that some people actually were like, I like the Washington Armada. Hey, I said earlier on the show, if you're considering naming your team the Washington Armada, don't. That simple. What about the Armada? Nah. Why not? Don't feel like it. Not going to happen. But sir, we can do... Mr. Snyder, what? <laughs> we, it's between Armada, the, the commanders. That uh, we, we couldn't get the trademark for Wolves, but what about the Washington Armada? The, the, the Washington, D.C.? It's like defending it. Nah. Don't feel like it. That simple. So let's go back to uh, analyzing this and seeing what's going on here. Uh, okay, so they got the black alternative right here. You got Jonathan Allen here. They got the black helmet. They got the uh, black jersey on here. Uh, and big number 93 looks pretty good in, in the all-black alternatives that they have. Seems like the uh, red is going to be the primary right here. And then you've got Chase Young uh, up in the middle as being the uh, away uh, white uniform. So, you know, it, it's uh, it's a good look. I, I, I kind of like it. kind of like it. Um, I think it's a, it's a refresher, you know. I, I think it's going to be one of those things where – just like the Washington football team, it took a couple years for people to get onto the on board with the team name and saying, like, Washington football team, out of all the team names, this is the stupidest team name that you could ever name your team. Am I correct? Like, initially, that's what our thoughts were. But then they just needed a basic team name while they were going through the legal process, the legalities of getting a trademark and everything else. And then finally, people were like, oh, Washington football team, that could be a name that could stick. So commanders could be the same thing. Like, you don't like it at first, but then later on, it might ease up on you. Now, I did see some concepts up on Twitter. We sell the uniform right now. Uh, I saw some concepts. This is by uh, Brad Angel. Okay, so Brad Angel is a Twitter user, and he came out with some pretty dope concepts when he heard that Washington Commanders was being leaked around the internet. And I just want to go ahead and acknowledge, like, oh, my gosh, like, look at that logo. That logo is pretty tight. Uh, And this helmet concept is pretty tight as well. Like, I I would be a fan of that. Fan concepts are, sometimes you could get behind those way more than uh, the actual concept itself. But uh, he made this after the team name Washington Commanders was leaked around the internet. It became no secret. Like, people would be revealing photos. Like, UPS employees, FedEx employees would be revealing photos of shipments of shirts that say Washington Commanders, like official logos that they just so happened to stumble upon and they just released those photos, leaked them, and watched the commanders. We live in the digital age, guys, where everything could be leaked. Like, no longer are there days of wrestling being fake. When the Iron Sheik was riding in the car, pulled over by a cop with, uh, I don't know who it was, Jake the Snake, I don't even know. And you're like, hey, aren't you a good guy? You're a bad guy. What are you guys doing riding in the car together? Oh, man, wrestling's fake. We've come a long way since then. A long way. 
Because back then, you couldn't believe it. And now, information gets leaked just like that. And Washington Commanders is one of those concepts. I'm going to actually show you uh, a funny interview that I saw with um, Joe Theismann. And this is uh, per Damon Amendolara. Just want to make sure I'm pronouncing that not like Amendola. Uh, he actually interviewed uh, Joe Theismann on Monday before Wednesday's reveal and asked him his thoughts on the Washington football team's new name. What could it be? Before it was even revealed, this is what Joe Theismann had to say. I think the Commanders is a, is a name that, you know, is going to be a, hopefully one that people will talk about going forward. All right. So you, you like the Commanders as the new team name, huh? I, yeah. I, you know, I mean, there were, there were so many different options. But once again, you, you know, it's trademark infringement. It's, it's getting approval from different people. It's, you know, if you choose a name, is there a group out there that isn't going to like it? I mean, there's so many things that you have to consider. Uh, commander, basically, it's Washington, D.C., a lot of commanders in Washington, D.C., in the Pentagon, and a lot of different branches of the service. And so to me, that's sort of the way I'm looking at it as a, as, as a positions of leadership. Already right there on Monday, Joe Theismann knew ahead of the game. He knew that it was going to be the Washington Commanders, and he went ahead and himself revealed that it's going to be the Washington Commanders. It's actually something else that I saw, too. This was actually yesterday, I want to say. Uh, there was a drone flying over uh, FedEx Field and a little uh, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Oh, grabbing an image of the team name of the commander. So I'll go ahead and uh, show this real quick and uh, commentate over this. So we've got, uh, uh, okay, we, we've got the Washington Commanders. Oh, they're zooming in. See right there. It says Washington Commanders. Oh, yeah, brighten up that iris. Open it up. Washington Commanders right outside FedEx Field. Yeah, this is per uh, WUSA 9, Channel 9. But anyways, I mean, that's the Washington football team's new name, the Washington Commanders. We're going to have to get used to it. Whether you like it, you don't like it, there's no going back. No going back. This is going to be the team name for a long, long time. Longer than two years, longer than five years, longer than ten years. This is going to be the team name for a very, very long time. Commanders, you like it, you don't like it, leave your comments down below. My personal preference... Warriors or Wolves would have been awesome. However, I understand the legalities of it, the uh, trademark aspect. Uh, I, I, I get that. I get that. So, Washington Commanders, this is what we got. Leave your thoughts down below.